Hi, I'm going to make this a pretty quick video. I'm going to fix it to show you why you should never use cheap wood from Walmart. Ever. Now, it does have a massive creosote buildup. Our pot here was absolutely spotless before I put it on the little wood stove. And I did scrub this for over an hour. I used everything from a scouring pad to a magic eraser. I'm going to have to buy some sandpaper to try to sand the creosote off. It is just disgusting. That is strictly from the wood from Walmart. In our wood stove, I actually had to scrub it and get some of the creosote out. I've only lit that twice. And you can see the creosote here. Now this here is part of our little wood stove here that I just tested. And it has been soaking in scalding hot water and I have been scrubbing it for literally over an hour and a half trying to get the creosote sole out I got a lot of it out but you can see I hope you can see that there's still a lot in here now I have been scrubbing this and it hit it absolutely has been soaking and I've been scrubbing this in soapy hot water I mean this is scalding hot and between it soaking and me scrubbing for as long a time as I've been scrubbing this stuff a lot of this stuff is still not coming off uh, I'm still getting it a little bit on my hands I did wipe my hands off I washed my hands but you can see some dark spaces uh, spots still on my hands um, this is about the firewood this is not about the wood stove or our percolator or even the that's so damn hot this is creosote and I have been scrubbing these and scrubbing and scrubbing and that is really super hot so Never, ever buy the cheap wood from Walmart unless you want to get your pans and your equipment coated in creosote. I mean, I, I understand they dried the wood out, but it is not seasoned in any way, shape, or form. Some of the wood that I purchased actually felt kind of damp. Um so this is about the firewood do not ever use walmart firewood okay that unless you plan on scrubbing something um i did purchase the firewood because it was the cheapest and it was the fastest i could get my hands on and i really made a mistake doing that because i have been scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing trying to get this creosote off of my equipment here um, I did burn our wood stove twice so you know make sure anything was burnt off of it need to be burnt off once again never ever use Walmart wood never you may regret it I know I am um, for me to get all our stuff clean I'm going to actually have to sand some of this stuff down or scrape it with a razor blade. So trust me on this. Never do it. But once again, this was spotless. I mean, when I took it out there to test it, it was spotless. You can still see some of the stuff on the outside. And I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed this. I soaked it in scalding hot water. And you can see it is still just built up everywhere. That is from the firewood. So if you get a wood burning stove or a little wood stove to cook on, never buy your wood from Walmart. Get it from somebody who has a good reputation. Get it from a neighbor. You know, make sure it's not just dried, so they say make sure it's it's definitely seasoned to help a lot of this build up not build up you, you don't want this right now I, with all this creosote on the bottom 
if I put this on our uh, butane stove that's a danger having that creosol there that can catch on fire that's a definite danger I have to get all this off in case I have to use it on our butane stove I mean you can see and I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed literally so once again this is about the wood from Walmart do not ever buy the cheap wood from Walmart that's wrapped up in the plastic I understand it's only like five dollars for a thing of wood but in the end it's not worth the hassle and the time it's going to take to clean your equipment because of that cheap wood all right i'm fixing to go uh, i hope you learned something on this <laughs> and i'm going to be soaking this and scrubbing this um our stove that that i just showed my last video here it's, it, it came in three parts and i've been scrubbing this and i do have a lot of it clean there's still some creosol in some of this and I will have to get all that out before I, I put it up or you get black stuff on your hands alright that's it I'm fixing to go um, I hope this helps someone out and everyone have a good day bye